Hey, welcome back, Ben again. Today we're just going to take a quick look at how to install OpenCV slash Computer Vision 2 for Python, and we're going to open up a couple sample images and do some tests on them. So for this video, I'm going to be using PyCharm, which is a Python IDE by JetBrains. Personally, my favorite, and I definitely recommend it to anyone looking into Python, as the Community Edition is free, and this is very easy and simple to do. So the first thing we're going to do is just create a new project, and we'll just call this a test project, why not? And we're just going to make sure we're using a new virtual environment. You can use one already. You can have one. If you have one already, you can use that. But I'm just going to make a new one. And the name is fine. And this is going to be using Python 3.8. OK, so once our new project has been created, the first thing we're going to do is import CV2. So we'll do that up top, import CV2. And you'll see that it's gone red, as this is a new uh, virtual environment. So we have, don't have anything installed yet. So what I'm going to do is open up a terminal. This terminal is just part of PyCharm itself, but it's running in the same virtual environment. If you weren't doing this in an IDE or if you're doing it separately, you would just want to be doing this wherever your virtual environment is running. So we're going to need a couple things. First, we're going to do pip install, and we're going to say opencv-python. And we're going to let that run, and we're going to see that that's going to install a bunch of things. And that might take a minute. All right, there it goes. So there's also another thing we need. And we're going to say pip install opencv-contrib-python. And that's the second library we're going to need. All right, so a little bit off the screen, but it's basically just saying that it finished successfully. So once we have those two things, move that out of the way. And once this reloads in a second, give it a sec, cv2, yep, there we go. Now we're all good to start. Okay, so uh, let's just start by opening up an image. And we're just going to keep it very basic for today. But let's create an image. Uh, to do that, we're going to say image equals, and let's say cv2 dot, we're going to do m read. And you can see actually my IntelliSense or the little pop-up isn't working for me. Um, one way you can fix that if your IDE isn't working like that instead of saying import cv2 you can say from cv2 import cv2 it's kind of weird that you have to do it that way but at least in pycharm that's how you got to do it if you want the little pop-ups to tell you what uh, functions are built in so we're going to say image say image equals cv2 dot imread and then in here we're going to put in the path of what we want so we're going to say images and we're going to do one of my dogs. So we're going to open up this one specifically. All right. Cool. So we actually need, we don't have this image over here. So let me just grab that for us. And I'm going to pop that in there. Oh, and there's my dog, Sophie, looking at the very blue background. So I said specifically this was in slash images. But, you know, we'll just get rid of that. So now we're just going to say read sophie.png. So what this will do is that this will go into wherever this project is running from and it will look for an image called sophie.png. And this works for JPEGs. Um, it works for GIFs too, the JFIF structure, JPEG, PNG, a whole bunch of different file formats. So the other thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pull in some code over here is that we want this also. Now what this will do is that this just creates it. So this will show us the image that we just loaded. So we can say original, this is just the title for it. And then image is the image that we're using over here. So, and then the cv2.wait key, this just means that it's going to open the image for us and it will keep open until we hit a key, or make it go away. So I'm gonna run this and oops, let me make it bigger over here. You guys can't see it. There we go. Okay. This is off screen for you guys, but this is what we need over here. Um, just because how my OBS is working. So this picture is now open for us and this is the image we loaded in. Now it's going to stay until we hit Q. So once I hit Q, it goes away like that. And then the program will end and that's that. Let's get open it again. And there's my puppy. <laughs> so cool. So now we know how to open images. The next thing, another thing we can do is that we're going to convert to grayscale. 
as grayscale is something that you'll often convert an image to first when working with uh, open computer vision or open CV as it reduces the amount of complexity in the photo basically. So let's get that going. Okay, so I fixed my screen a little bit. So real quick, just to recap, if I press run, there's my dog. Sorry, the cropping's a little messed up because my screen viewer, but we can see that it opens up this little window called original and here's our picture. So then we're gonna just hit Q and that goes away. So now let's convert to grayscale. So what we're gonna do is that it's quite simple. If we're just gonna say our image and we're gonna say, uh, we're giving it a new name, sorry. It's a new variable image underscore gray equals CV2 dot convert color. And then the image object we're talking about and then CV2 dot color. And this will convert it to the grayscale. So, and for the same idea, we're just going to put in this weight key and this time we're just saying open up the image underscore gray. So if we run this, first we will see our nice blue background dog off the screen a little bit. If we hit Q again, we can see that it actually changes colors as this is now the grayscale version of it. So we can see that now it's a very dramatic black and white photo. So, cool. So this is another thing we can do with CV2. And the last thing we'll look at today is blurring, as you often also blur a lot with computer vision. So the next one, let's just pull this over. And this one, we're just gonna make another object. And this one's gonna be image underscore blur. And this one is going to use the Gaussian blur, which is just a special way of blurring images. I'm not gonna go into detail about how that works, but basically we just say the image we want to use, and then this is how much we want to blur it by. So let's say 5.5. Five. And let's get the same idea with these weight keys. Okay, same idea. So we're just looking at the image blur. So let's open these one by one again. So first we have Sophie the dog, and then we go to gray, and then it goes to blurry. It's a little bit harder to see with this one as this one was already pretty high resolution. Um, if we want to get a higher resolution or even more blurry, we could go up to nine and we should see it be blurred a little bit more. There we go, now it's blurrier. Yeah, so that's the general process of just getting uh, CV2 installed and then just messing around with it. And from here, the sky's the limit. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.